Hello everyone, welcome to another massive tutorial. Today we'll be talking about macro controls. Uh, real quick, I just want to apologize for such a delay since the last tutorial I uploaded. Um, I've just been extremely busy and just haven't had the time to do it. Um, I did have someone request this sound. Um, it's from the intro you heard there. And uh, it has a good bit of stuff going on, but most of it I've already shown you. Um, so I basically already loaded the sound and I'm just going to focus on showing you how the macro controls work um, and changing the sound around, which is what I did for the that song in the intro. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Our macro controls are located down here where it says macro control. We got one through eight that we're going to focus on today. Um, I will be talking about these four things in an upcoming tutorial sometime soon, um, but today it's just going to be uh, the controls basically. Um, go ahead and select number one. You just click it there and you get the little one you can drag and drag it into feedback. Mine are already going to show up where you need to put these because um, they were there previously, but normally they wouldn't. Um, it'd just be blank, and you just pull that up to there. For this example, at least, um, you can click in here and name these. That way, you know what they do. I'm just going to call that one feedback, obviously. Um, two, I'm going to control and filter two here. Control the scream amount just a little bit there. I will call that scream. Then three and four are going to control the cutoff on filter one and filter two respectively. Go ahead and name those filter one CO and filter two CO four cutoff. Now five I've actually got doing a lot of different things, um, and that's one of the useful things about this is you can automate you know five. 50 things at once just with one knob. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that into the phase here. As you can see, it's pulled back a good bit. I'm also going to drop into the pitch of the phase. Um, I just pulled down a little bit to negative 0.23, but you can pull that to whatever you like um, somewhere around there to get the same kind of effect, obviously. And then I've also used it to change the wavetable positions and intensity of oscillator 2 and 3, if I can drag it there. There we go. And as you can see, they just kind of go in opposite directions from one another. And I just named this one Sound because I wasn't really sure what to call it. Um, and six, um, I messed with the boost and the EQ here. I actually pulled it down. It was already up, and obviously just gonna call that boost. And number seven, change the frequency. Uh, real quick, I'm going to go through a little bit of what's going on with the sound, minus the macro controls we just added. Um, three oscillators. Um, we got a sign, modern talking, and digigrain one selected. Um, you know, we mess with the bend options here a little on these two. Um, as you can see, um, the pitch for all three of these is being automated by number seven, our performer here. So as this goes through, um, that'll change the pitch a little to give it some variation. Um, it has two LFOs, five and six, on the cutoff of both filters. Um, the filters are shared equally here in the mix. Um, one's moving at one fourth, the other is one sixteenth. And as you can see on the amps here, I have um, eight, which is our stepper. Basically, flipping these back and forth. So this one's all, all the way down and it'll go up, and this one is opposite of that. So basically, when it's down, it's going to use one of the LFOs, when it's up, it's going to use the other. Um, that's pretty complex, but I have a tutorial on that. Um, you can run through our videos and check that out if you want. Um, uh, way more detail on how to do that. I'm just trying to give an idea of what's going on here. Um, you know, there is phase um, and you know some stuff going on in the voicing, but it's pretty standard stuff that I do on most of my videos. There's some hard clippers down here and some dimension expanders. Um, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll take a listen to this um, so you can hear. I want to show you how the macro controls change the sound. Pull this up here real quick. That's our basic sound. I'm going to mess with um, feedback and scream here a bit. Then real quick I'll mess with the filters and then um, kind of the things on the bottom there to give you an idea what that does. And 
And um, like I said, you can automate these in the, your workstation here, um, which I'm using FL Studio, or I mean, you can um, link these to a MIDI controller, and you know, just use the knobs, and you can record it that way. Um, it's just really up to you on how you do that. Let's give a quick example here. I use the scream envelope here and frequency, um, and just change those around a little bit. Hopefully everyone learned something. Um, check out the presets below. Each of them makes use of the macro controls. And hopefully I'll have a lot more videos for you guys very soon. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.